Welcome to Daisy's Divas. Hi, I'm your host, Daisy. Today, we have a true diva out there making a difference in the pharmaceutical world. She is the executive sales representative for Janssen, which Johnson & Johnson. She is a smart, loving person. I've known her practically for years, and we'll touch base on that. But please welcome this dynamic, positive diva, Tammy Wolfel. Thank you, Daisy. Good nice morning. Nice to be here. Thank you for coming, Tammy. And you've done so much in your life. Like I said, we've been friends, what, 40 years now? 40 we have years. our 40-year reunion coming up, Chelmsford High School, <laughs> class of 81. And uh, we, we just uh, been friends. And you're a good person. Like I said, you're always upbeat and always positive. Thank you. I appreciate that. So tell the viewers, if they don't know, you're from Chelmsford, and a little bit about you, yourself and your family. Yep. So I grew up in Chelmsford. Um, I went off to U Lowell, graduated with a marketing degree, mm -hmm. um, married the love of my life. I've been married for 33 years. Mm -hmm. I have two wonderful boys, Ryan and Connor. Ryan is 31, Connor is 28, and I work for Johnson & Johnson. Mm -hmm. I've been in the pharmaceutical world for 30, 30 plus years, wow. and it's been a wonderful ride, I have right. to say. So um, what do you do for uh, being a sales representative? So I sell... Um, Drugs, I work in the neuroscience space, mm -hmm. and I sell injectables for patients uh, suffering with schizophrenia. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Yep. So that's, um, that can be, I'm sure, stressful. Stressful. Um, this medicine can be life-changing to uh, many patients who suffer, so wow. it's very rewarding. That's excellent, Tammy. Yeah. Yep. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, now, you've had some ups and downs but you are so positive. And then we can get into, I'm gonna sh uh, show the slides of how you came out of the pandemic, but what got you going with this? So I have to be honest. So during COVID, mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I, I looked around my world and so many people were stressed. Right. Um, so many people were depressed, had anxiety. And I, I tell people I live in Tammy land and Tammy land is a happy, wonderful place. But I wasn't feeling that during COVID. Mm -hmm. So I said, something has to change. So I said, you know, I'm all about like shifting the way I think. Right. And I said, I think this would benefit many employees mm -hmm. um, within my company if I uh, put together a presentation. So right. I did. Mm -hmm. And that's what I want to share with you today. And, you know, I, I totally agree that people have bad things happen to them. A lot of do. Right. A lot of people do. Right. Um, unfortunately, I had breast cancer, and I'm not minimizing breast cancer. Mm -hmm. um, it was quite the ride, to be honest with you. But did I have a pity party for myself? Yes, for 30 minutes. But then I said, you know what? I got this. Mm -hmm. And I was very I blessed you. because I didn't have chemo or radiation. Mm -hmm. And I think it's because of my mindset. And that's what I want to show viewers today, mm -hmm. how they can shift their mindset to make things positive. I agree. It's all positive thinking. Right. And it, it, doom and gloom and negative is not good, and that eats away at you inside. And being positive, like you are, pushed you through that. How many years have you been cancer-free has it been? So it's been eight years. Wow, that's great, Tammy. Yeah. So, and you were a young girl then, too, and a young mother. Yeah, uh, yeah, and it was it was stressful. and mm -hmm. And... But as, as stressful as it was, mm -hmm. I have to tell you, it was the most positive experience of my life. And I'll mm -hmm. tell you why. Um, you really learn that people are very wonderful. Mm -hmm. Like they had a party for me. Everybody was in pink uh, T-shirts, over 200 people. I wow. walk in, I started crying. I couldn't believe, I was so overwhelmed. I got meals for um, three weeks straight, breakfast, wow. lunch, dinner. That's so nice. I got so many gifts. It was just so overwhelming. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you look at the negative. Support. Right. Try to think of the positive. Mm -hmm. There's always a silver lining. Always. Yeah. That's yeah. wonderful, Tammy. So tell us now about your new invention that you came up with with work. And I know that you've done phenomenal with this. Thank you. Okay. Yes. I have to give credit to my manager. He's actually the one who pushed me to do this. Yeah. So um, if you could start the slides, yep, that would Pete, be great. If we could see the slides. Okay, here we go. Yep. So Thank my you. belief is that everybody has a little genie in their pocket. Mm -hmm. So Ask, believe, and receive. And if you remember the story of Aladdin when he rubs the magic lantern and the mm -hmm. genie pops out and says, your wish is my command, mm -hmm. well, believe it or not, everybody has their own little magic genie. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to show you how. Okay. I like that. So I believe the secret to life is the law of attraction. Mm -hmm. What you think about, you bring about, 
right, in your life. So it's um, what you feel. Yes, it's how you feel, whether right. it's positive or negative. So mm -hmm. if you have negative feelings, you're attracting more negative things to you. Mm -hmm. If you are a positive person, you're attracting more positive things to you. You know, I'm not like a, um, the luckiest person in the world, but people always say, wow, you're so lucky. It's not lucky, it's just the way I think. Right. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. I agree with that. Yep. So I'm gonna show you the law of attraction in action. Mm -hmm. Say you buy this car, a new car mm -hmm. and you buy a convertible and you are driving down the highway and your hair, as pretty as yours is, Daisy, flowing in the wind, right? And you're loving this car and you've never really seen it on the road before. Well, you're loving it and you're saying to yourself, I love this car. Well, all of a sudden you see all these cars similar to yours go by. Did they have a 200% increase in sales? No, they didn't have an increase in sales. It's because you're attracting more of those cars to you because you're thinking about it and you're loving it. So that's the law of attraction in action. That's interesting. Mm, okay. Yeah. Yep. Perfect. So, you know, what are your wishes? This is what I always ask. Is it to have more money? Is it to have a child? Is it to be the best salesperson? Mm -hmm. um, is it to get married? Whatever your wish is, you can manifest that through the law of attraction. Mm -hmm. So, I believe in a vision board. Uh, have you ever um, done a vision board, Daisy? Yes. Yes, okay. Yes. So again, what I said before, mm -hmm. what you think about, you dream about, you bring about. Mm -hmm. So, on- it Like on my um, refrigerator. Yes. yes, okay, so that's good. I have my vision board in my office, mm -hmm. and it's funny, I have so many different things on my vision board, and on it was Oprah, um, you know, motivational speaking, so uh, beach house, and a lot of this stuff has come true for mm -hmm, me. Mm -hmm. So now I actually have to update the vision board because I, I look at it every day. And when I look at it, I think about it, I dream about it, I bring about it. Mm -hmm. So my- um, I need to update mine. Huh, I'm telling you, so my, my cousin, wanted to have a baby and she was, for a year she tried mm -hmm. and nothing was working. I bought her a baby bottle. I said, put it on your mantle. Mm -hmm. She put it on her mantle. I said, look at it every single day. As God is my witness, three months later, she was pregnant. Oh, wow, that's yes. amazing. So she's a true believer. That's awesome. Yep. See, you no, know, I think this is a great, um, this is great and actually very interesting because I think when I was younger, I had more like on my refrigerator vision. I think the older you get, don't you feel like, okay, uh, what else? You know, like what else am I going to be thinking about except health and, you know, for my friends and my family and uh, don't you agree or do you feel like you have much more to do? I, I, I do agree partially, but I believe there's much more. Okay. So I say you update it every three to four years. Okay. Um, because whatever you want in your life. So as you get older, there are different things that you want, mm -hmm. right? Um, you don't want to have a baby now, right? Mm -hmm. So there are different things. So put the things on your vision board. And, and like I said, stare at it every day. Mm -hmm. And those things will, even health. Right. You know, you want good health, show a health, put a healthy person on your vision board, mm -hmm. jogging or something like that. Mm -hmm. Right. And it just means that you want health in your life. Right, so. and healthy food. I love that. Yeah. So you still have your vision board. You have it at your office too? Yeah, in oh, my office. And yep. your home too? Um, in where? In your, at your home? At my home. Uh, yep. No, so my office is my home. Oh, okay, okay. Yep. So that's perfect. How does that work out? Good? It works out great. So I'm on the road every day. Yeah. So, you know, in the morning I check in with my emails and then I'm on the road all day. Mm -hmm. What do you do when you, um, someone negative approaches you? So you'd laugh. So I have a girlfriend that, you know, and I get it, she's had a lot of negative things happen to her mm -hmm. and I've tried to change her, uh, her mindset, mm -hmm. but that's tough. It's tough. And she keeps talking the negative and more negative things come mm -hmm. her way. Mm -hmm. And she goes, you're so positive. I said, you can be positive. You just have to learn how to do it. So right. And deal with it. And deal with it. Right. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I, I've been trying for a couple of years. I'm now. sure. But don't you get burnt out? Don't you feel like now at this point, and you know, we're older now. I mean, we're in our late 50s. Don't you feel at this point it's just, I can't deal with the negative anymore. I, You know what I mean? It's like I, I filter in so much and then it's like I really need to move on to the next positive thing. Right. Don't you feel it's too exhausting? It is exhausting. Mentally it and is. it's like. So when the phone rings, I say to myself, do I have half hour to take this phone call? And listen. Oh, that's smart. Yes. Yeah. And I, I try to limit it. Mm -hmm. She's a good friend of mine and I love her, but I've tried to change her mindset and 
it's hard. It's hard. It's yeah. hard. But you don't distance yourself. I don't. No, you're a good person. I try. Right. I, I try. try to do that too. But then I it's try. like, then it's exhausting. Yes, then it's exhausting. <laughs> yep. Um, so then the, the next slide, if you have it. Feet? Oh, thank you. So Attitude. Yes. Yeah, so attitude. I, I always that. say, okay, it's a mindset, right? And how do, you, how do you have that mindset? In the morning, I call it an attitude of gratitude. Mm -hmm. And when I wake up in the morning, I, 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 before I, my feet hit the floor, I think about what I'm grateful for. Mm -hmm. And it could be, you know, your husband, your kids, I do the same. Um, your family, um, the sun, you know, um, a pen that you're holding in your hand. Whatever it is, there's always something to be grateful for. Mm -hmm. And what I find is um, when you're grateful, it starts your, your like, especially in the morning, it start, you start off on the right foot mm -hmm. uh, in the beginning of the day. I agree, day. totally. Yeah, and, you know, you, you add it to, like, um, Gratitude teaches you to appreciate the uh, storm as well as the rainbow because you're not going to have the rainbow mm -hmm. if you don't have the storm, mm -hmm. right? right? So, yeah. yeah. So, so that's perfect. It shifts, yep. Okay. And then, um, so I always say you can't have a positive life if you have a negative mind. Mm -hmm. I work in the pharmaceutical world. It's the placebo effect, right? right? So when you take, if you're thing. taking a pill and you think it's the medicine that's going to help you with, say, a a migraine. Mm -hmm. When you truly believe it's the pill that's helping you, then all of a sudden the migraine is gone. gone right. Right. Mm -hmm. And but it actually was a placebo. Mm -hmm. So if you have a negative mind, you're going to have a negative life. Mm -hmm. That's just the bottom line. You know. That's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, and your brain is like a magnet. Whatever you're thinking about, you're bringing into you. Mm -hmm. Like I said, whether positive or negative. So say you're having, it's the frequency that you're on, whether it be positive or negative. Mm -hmm. So if you're having, if you're on a negative, negative frequency, you need to do a um, shift changer. So mm -hmm. it's a secret shifter. And what that is, is think of, about a pleasant thought. Think about a pleasant memory. Think about um, how you felt when you took a walk in the woods with your dog. Mm -hmm. Something that's going to shift your frequency. Mm -hmm. Because when you shift your frequency, your, your total mindset is going to shift to more positive. Right. Which so, is good. Yeah. Yep. And then, so say you want to attract money. So people, I know people want to attract money. Who doesn't, right? Mm -hmm. You have to have a different mindset about money. Mm -hmm. So you... You know, my father was always like, oh, yeah, you can afford that. You can afford that. You can buy that. When you say that to yourself, mm -hmm. you're saying I have enough of it and you feel good about it. Mm -hmm. Also in regards to money, um, so in order to get money, you have to give money. Mm -hmm. You know, be generous with your money mm -hmm. because when you're generous with your money, mm -hmm. again, you're saying I have plenty. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I used to tell the, uh, one of the girls I used to work with, I said, you know what? In the mailbox today is going to be a check. I guarantee you it's going to be a check. And it, whether it was like a, <laughs> like a rebate You're check so of $5 or something like that, I got mm -hmm. the check. And so, you know, don't keep saying, oh, there's going to be so many bills in my mailbox, so many mm -hmm. bills. Okay. Right? No. Right. Think checks. Yes. I like that. Yeah, thank you. I'm going to say that to myself all the way home. <laughs> all the way home. Checks in the mail. Checks, checks in the, the mail. mail. Yeah. I love that, Tammy. Yeah, thank you. You are so positive. No, okay. not really. So lastly, I'm just going to say, you know, I told you in the beginning to ask, believe, and receive. It's the... It's the um, genie in the lantern. Mm -hmm. Rub the magic lantern, the genie pops out. Mm -hmm. Ask, believe, and receive. So let me ask you, Daisy, what do you want in your world? Like if you had your magic genie, mm -hmm. what would be I your I always wish? ask that question. My med um, just, you know, I would, good health for everyone around me, my family, uh, peace, you know, Love and it. joy. Yep. And, you know, and just to be happy on, on a daily basis, remain to be ha happy and positive and try to touch as many people as I can. And like you, and for goodness. So. Yeah, but you are. So like Daisy said, we've known each other for over 40 years. 40 years, yeah. And she always made me laugh in school. Yeah. And she was That's always positive. And you are doing great things here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which, you know, you I, are too. I feel very blessed to be here. Oh, I Jenny. really do. Same and I here. appreciate it. Yes. Thank oh, you. You are a good person. Yes. So what do you wish? What's, um, if you had a magic wand. If I had a magic wand. What would you wish for, for the young women out there today? So here I am speaking in front of you. Mm -hmm. I told my manager um, that I wanted to be a motivational speaker. 
when I retire, I would like to um, be a motivational speaker for kids, mm -hmm. high school kids, because That's wonderful. so many high school students, you know, get lost as far as what they should be doing. Mm -hmm. Not everybody's going to college, and that's fine. Mm -hmm. You know, you might be doing a trade or something like that, and that's fine. Don't stress about it, because I feel like in the end, everything works out. Mm -hmm. You know, everything happens when it's supposed to happen. Mm -hmm. and. If I could touch the lives of, of, of kids, just like you're touching lives with your show, um, that would bring me much joy. But why retire? Why, why wait until you retire? You have so much energy in you now. Well, so what's nice is my company is allowing me to give motivational talks. Oh, um, yes, great. Within my company. Awesome. So that's helped a lot. So, you know, when I retire, I don't need to get paid for motivational speaking. I just love to do it. Good girl. Now, are you, do you get nervous? Like do you, when you go in front of like, People, because you, you're so personable. No, so I, I used to, and it's yeah. so funny. I used to get nervous. I no. don't get nervous no, anymore. No, you can tell you're so comfortable. Yes, yeah. not really, but no. um, I mean, you make me feel comfortable. So um, it's just like talking to a good friend, mm -hmm. yeah. right? Yeah. So that's that's going to be great. You'll be really. How many years have you been publicly uh, speaking? So it's been um, not even a year. Really? Yeah. So I have oh. to also give kudos to my friend Dana. My, yeah, Regan. my cousin. Yes. 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 Who um, I spoke for her company. Yes, Autodesk. Yeah, Autodesk. Yeah, Dana's yep. a great person. And like you. I, I, get, I say she's one of my best cheerleaders. Yes, she is. Dana is so positive. She's so uplifting. She'll always say, she calls me Paris. Paris, let's not go dark. You know, like she's so uplifting, <laughs> right. you know, and she's such a good person. So big shout out to my cousin, Dana. Yep. And uh, you did that presentation. So that was fabulous. Yes. Yep. So, so you've been only doing a year. My goodness. Yep. Uh, so what's nice is, you know, I try to tweak things here and there, but um, I, I truly believe more people can be more positive, especially with COVID. Mm -hmm. I mean, did you see your world crumble a little bit with COVID? You know what? Um, it's weird. No, I, I don't know. I just, no, I didn't see it crumble. You know, with the loss of my dad recently did. That crumbled. Yes, that crumbled. Yes. Yeah. And, 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 and same with the loss of my mother. I mean, yeah. that was like 11 years ago, but. With COVID, I felt like I was doing things. I was doing things with my nieces. I kept myself busy and I would, would do like some food, um, you know, drives and stuff like that, like drop offs. And, you know, I just try to keep myself busy or have my family. You know, we were lucky we could stay outside. You know, if we couldn't, you know, and visit my parents and I lived on the property, but, you know, it's hard it, for people that couldn't get to see their families. Right. Yeah. Well, and, and I'm telling you, so I saw when I looked around, I saw so many people depressed and yeah. anxious. And mm -hmm. I said, you know, we got to bring more joy into our world. Right. So that's why I came up with the presentation. Yep. So. Well, you're absolutely right, though. I mean, it was a tough time for people, businesses. It was a very depressing time for people and very nerve wracking time. You know, for kids too, and students. And for students, yes. yes, and for restaurants and yep. everything. So I felt bad for everybody. So I'm like, same here. Yeah, yeah. You know, here. just wasn't did you get to see your your family though? Did you see? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. So, um, you know, my father. It was funny. Um, it was in May of last year, and you know, they said stay away from the elderly, mm -hmm. and we didn't want to be with my father because, right. God forbid, if something happened to him. Um, so we had a gathering, and he said. Either I'm going to die of COVID or I'm going to die of loneliness. Mm -hmm. I want to see my family. Right. So he came and knock on wood, he did great yeah. and things were great. Yeah, we were very good with our parents too. And, you know, we, had, we were strict, but thank God we all got through it, right? We all got through it. Yes. Yep. Who's a role model for a woman in your life? My father's. Yeah. Talk about a positive person. My father's a huge role model. He's yeah. always had my back, always been one of my best no. supporters. Dad was too. Um, and you know my dad. Yeah, he's so, a wonderful man. Yep, um, and he's just a happy-go-lucky guy. Mm -hmm. My, my uh, kids and my nieces and nephews are really, really lucky right. to have him. Yeah, they're blessed, right? They're very blessed. How about for a woman? Did you have a role model for a woman in your life? Um, so it's funny. I mean, my mother was right on a pedestal for sure. Um, I have to say in the last, uh, I want to say seven, eight years. I have a regional manager mm -hmm. who is just fabulous. Mm -hmm. And that's good. Yep. And her name is Lisa. Mm -hmm. And she has always had my back as well. So mm -hmm. and she's just a go getter. She does everything right. And she supports me. And I just watch her in awe right. a lot of times. Mm -hmm. So yeah, she's been one of them. 
Where do we go from here? We only have a few more minutes left. Can you believe it? No, I can't. Time flies. So what's on your vision board? So. What haven't you done? You have your beach house. You yeah. have your beautiful family. One of your sons are engaged now, right? Yes. Uh, congratulations. Thank you. So uh, my, son are, my son, Connor, and Emma are getting married at the Cliff House. Oh, nice. In a gun quit. That's beautiful there. Next September. Yes. And I just want to warn people, I'm going to be over the top. I can't help myself. <laughs> <laughs> um, and my oldest son has a wonderful girlfriend, Abby, mm -hmm. who we love. Yeah. So I feel blessed with that. Um, as far as my vision board goes, um, I'm going to do more about the motivational mm -hmm. speaking because I feel like in four years is when I'm going to retire. You're going to be a grandmom, huh? Maybe uh, one hopefully, day. Hopefully, yeah. Is oh, that what you, did you put a little baby on the vision board? Don't worry, <laughs> the baby will be on the vision, vision board. board. We talk about it frequently. I'm sure. With both kids. I can't wait to see those pictures. I bet you'll have a gorgeous gown. <laughs> My sisters just came back from the clubhouse. They've done it all over, and it's beautiful there. Oh, yeah. I haven't been there for oh. a while. Well, my son and his fiance got engaged there, mm -hmm. and it was in January. And then they had um, they got engaged on Marginal Way. Oh, nice. And then nice. we walked over to the Cliff House, and they had the igloos there. Oh. I don't know if you've seen them. No. So you could eat outside. Oh, nice. Uh, like on the cliff. Yeah. It was absolutely beautiful. When are they getting married? Uh, next September. September. That will be a beautiful time of the year. Yes. September is a nice time of the year. It really is. Yeah. Sometimes Especially the summer, the, on the ocean. Yeah, the ocean. Beautiful. I know there was a lot of weddings that week, and when my sisters came back Memorial uh, Labor Day, a lot of weddings up there. And up and weddings. down that whole yes. strip, you yeah. know, that way. Yeah. So that's good. Can you believe we're wrapping up? No, I can't believe it. It's been so great chatting with you. You too. Is there anything else you would like to say? Big I shout out to, to Jansen. <laughs> shout <laughs> out to J&J. &J. Yep. I'm telling you, I love this company. It's one of the best companies I've ever worked for in my life, really. Th wow. And 30 years, though, you've been doing this. Long 30, time. Long time. Yes. Yep. It's been, it's been a great ride, I have to say. Yep. Anything, anything else? No, I just want to thank you. I really appreciate wow. everything you've done for me. Tammy, you're the best. No, so are you. Thank you. How about advice for Ad the young women out there? Advice. You know what? Create the vision board. Think about what you want in life. Send it out to the universe, and it'll all come back to you, I promise. We didn't have that when we were younger, growing up. We didn't have any of this. No. Like these, uh, right now, you can go on anything. Ask a question, go on internet, Google, Safari. There's so much out there for the young women nowadays. They need to grab hold of it, Grab correct? hold of it, right. Uh, and put it out there. And put it out and, there. And track it to you. And track it. Yep. 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 Oh, you're the best. Thank I had to give you my tradition of Godiva chocolate for the diva in you. Oh. So I wanted to thank Tammy for coming on the TV show. I'll, I'll have to pass it to you later. <laughs> if you know a diva like Tammy, please reach out. And it was a great show. Tammy, you've done so much. Thank you so no, much thank you. for coming on the show again. Thank you, Tammy Graham. Wolfel. <laughs> it's a Wolfel, right? Yes, it's Wolfel. I love that. <laughs> and if you know a diva, please don't forget my website, MassachusettsWomen.org. And I hope to see you soon. Thank you for watching Daisy's Divas.